Throughout Fortnite's history, we have had a ton of mythic items. From Sky's mythic scar to Thor's mythic hammer, but one of the best of all time is returning, and that is Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet. Now, before we hop into it, guys, if you are hoping for, like, next week off of school, just a full week to play this season of Fortnite, leave a like on the video, but be fast. But yes, guys, we've got a ton of info about the return of Thanos and even other Marvel stuff like Iron Man, but we've even got a brand new hiding spot on the map you gotta see a bunch of glitches and more so with that being said if you are new around here be sure to subscribe it only takes a second and over 80 percent of you are not subscribed so click that button and also make sure you're using my supporter creator code sirs inside of the fortnite item shop and as for the skin on last video it was beast boy so here's a ton of people that got that right and this time let's go with a marvel skin so comment down below if you know the name of it and i'll leave hearts on a bunch of the ones that get that right all right guys now hopping on into it here before we get into the stuff to do with the gauntlet. I mean, we got so much to talk about that. I first want to show you a brand new secret spot that I found. Well, actually a few of these hiding spots that have secret loot inside of them. So in order to find one of these, let's go down to the Daily Bugle because specifically it is a secret spot that has to do with the blimps. So as you guessed it, it works with any of the blimps around the map, but not many people know about it. So yeah, guys, first things first, you want to go up to around or that doesn't work. We just went down. <laughs> go up here. There we go. And uh, try Try not to run into the IO guards because that does not help whatsoever. Buddy, what are you doing over there? I'm going to run down here. I don't think he can get into this area. But yeah, usually most people think that this is the bottom most. Okay, he did get into this area. What's up, buddy? You're not going to do much. But as I was saying, there's actually a lower area below this. And in order to get there, it's a little bit tough. You see it right there? So we have to somehow jump just perfectly in order to get right into that spot. Oh man, there's a lot of IO guards down here as well. Well, so yeah, the timing is a little bit tough. Actually, I don't even know if we can get into it from the zip line. No, I don't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work. Okay, we need to try this again. All right, so I've got a plan here. Instead of going over to the Daily Bugle, we're going to go down to Tilted Towers because that way we can use one of the siege cannons to try and fire ourselves into that area. This might be a bit tougher than it looks. Like, where do we even have to aim? I'm going to guess right at this point. Oh my gosh, that was actually eh, kind of close. <laughs> Let's try that again, but this time aim a bit higher. Let's try right there. Come on. Oh my gosh, that's actually super close no what <laughs> i wasn't lined up with it that was so close though what the i just saw somebody fall from the sky <laughs> there we go perfect yes we got it oh my gosh that was literally like a trick shot right into this area but as you can see we are in fact in the secret spot underneath the blimp we've got this whole secret room to ourselves and nobody can break into here because the top is completely solid the sides are solid and of course there is a secret bit of loot that i just almost broke well let's open it before it breaks uh some decent stuff we got a striker burst rifle maybe Maybe we can try to get an elimination on somebody from here. Oh, there's somebody. I'm going to deal damage to him. Come on. Oh, it's really hard to aim straight down. Oh, they got away. Come on. But again, I mean, overall, this spot is just super cool. And when you're in the no build mode, it's like near impossible to get to. But now, guys, let's start to talk about the stuff that has to do with the Thanos gauntlet or the Infinity Gauntlet returning into Fortnite. So first things first, let's start off with some of the obvious stuff and then get into the more interesting stuff. But like, for example, one of the obvious things about this that is honestly kind of odd is the level 100 skin in this season's battle pass we all know that that is dr strange but that begs the question why would they add dr strange into this battle pass like it seems kind of random at first right there's nothing on the map referencing dr strange like for example during last season we got spider-man but we also got the daily bugle we got spider-man mythics we still even have the webs around the map but with dr strange there's nothing like that at least not yet. On top of that, guys, something really interesting was discovered within the trailer for season two. But yeah, I was watching through this trailer like I usually do, and at first it started off pretty normal, but then at the very end, you get this scene with a ton of characters. It's the scene where Doctor Strange comes through the portal, and then you got a bunch of Battle Pass skins there, you've got the scientist, but then you've got Iron Man on the very right side. Why is Iron Man in this trailer? Like, guys, that is a huge clue. We can 
cannot just ignore that. They specifically put Iron Man in this trailer back on the map for a reason. On top of that, Black Widow from the Marvel series is also on the left side. So this is clearly a hint towards Marvel stuff returning in this next season. And you know what that means? The Infinity Gauntlet. And oh man, do we have a lot of stuff to talk about with that. Oh, there's a person here. That was the person I think that I was firing at in the secret spot. Well, we gotta finish you off. Come here, buddy. You're not getting away. Nope. <laughs> they tried to just heal right out in the open. Yeah, that's not gonna work. But yes, guys, before we get into the next thing to do with the Infinity Gauntlet returning and the Marvel stuff returning, I wanna show you a really cool glitch. But yeah, guys, this glitch has to do with tanks and also getting under the map. So in order to do this, we're going to have to grab a tank from Command Cavern. Okay, sweet. So yes, there's a tank right down here. That's literally perfect. And then we gotta drive it all the way over to that outpost. You'll see why in just a second. But yeah, hop into the tank and go on over there make sure to just plow through anything that is in the way including you buddy sorry we are trying to get over to these rifts right here we're going to take the tank into the rift and that should hopefully get us under the map so let's see if this actually works here oh my gosh all right we teleported into the rift we're going straight down we're going to land and uh nope that did not work what did you do this imagine i blame you let's try with one of the other rifts here maybe we gotta like have the tank tilt a little bit in order to actually no Oh, that didn't work either. All right, let's try this again. This time I'm not gonna move whatsoever. So here we go into the rift. It's teleporting us up into the air. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh, we did it. Yo, we went so far under though. We're like way underneath the water. Wait, no, what? I got eliminated. Oh my gosh, what just happened? And the tank is right there. Bro, that was, that was something. Okay, hold on. Let me go to the replay of that. I wanna see what exactly happened. So here we go. Here's where I'm driving. That's where we teleported into the rift and I'll slow it down here right when we make contact with the ground. We just glitch right on through and teleport underneath the map, bro. And then just slowly went upwards until I got eliminated right when I began swimming. And there comes the tank as well. But hopping back into it with the stuff that has to do with the infinity gauntlet. We've got way more to talk about here, like leaks and stuff. But let's jump into it with one of the most interesting things that has to do with the Marvel comics that released recently. We've talked a bunch about these, these Zero War comics. They gave us a bunch of clues towards season two before it even released. We got to see like the sisters before all of that. So it's clearly accurate towards stuff happening during this season. Now, what's interesting about that is one of the recent covers that they just announced has Wolverine on it. That's right. The same Wolverine that we unlocked way back in chapter two during the Marvel season. So that's pretty peculiar, right? Why would they add back Wolverine? just randomly. Well, it's actually not random whatsoever. According to some leaks within the files, the Wolverine boss is set to return in season two. Not only that, apparently the Wolverine Claws mythic has been revamped within the files, meaning that it is also going to return during this season. Now that in and of itself is very interesting because the last time we saw the Wolverine mythic was alongside a ton of other Marvel mythics, which seems to tie in with the best Marvel mythic of all time, the Infinity Gun. Gauntlet. That's right, guys. Putting all of this together, Doctor Strange and Iron Man being in the trailer, Wolverine set to return the recent release of the Zero War comic. It looks like Epic Games is gearing up to re-release the Infinity War modes with Thanos returning and the Gauntlet returning. It's all going to be happening soon. And I mean, looking back, they even released Thanos as a skin into the game. Like, of course, they're going to redo the Infinity Gauntlet at some time in the near future. Now, on top of that, guys, there was recently discovered this this map right here, which if I start it up, is pretty intriguing because at first glance, it seems to be a collab map for Marvel. Like you've got all of these posters around with Spider-Man that actually use IRL pictures. Like I don't even know how they did this or got access to these features, but like there's Spider-Man and Venom. But could this have been a collab that was supposed to be releasing during season two ahead of the Infinity Gauntlet? And like you can do a bunch of stuff here. You've got all of these different challenges around here, like any career creative collab map that we've seen in the past, which is pretty cool. Whoa, what just, what did I just do? Bro, I'm in like the multiverse now. Yo, everything's like upside down. This is sick. Oh, and check that out. There's a Doctor Strange reference right here. Yo, that's gotta be something. But then guys, taking another little break from the Thanos and Infinity Gauntlet stuff, I wanna show you another cool glitch that this time has to do with the siege cannons. It's a pretty intriguing one. So not only are we going to need to find a siege cannon, we're also going to need to find like a dumpster 
monster that we can fire our character into. You'll see why in just a second. All right, so let's see here. We need to find one of these. Let's see here. There is this one right here that's right out in the open. That could actually work pretty well. Wait a second. I wonder if we can just use this one right here. There's no way this is going to work. Oh my gosh. Wait, no, it actually... Oh, we broke it. Dang, that almost did work though. If we aimed a little bit higher, we could have gotten into it. Wait, let's try marking that one right there. Oh, wait a second. If we mark it and then line it up with these two things, the indicator on the vertical and also the horizontal, that should land us right inside of that. We broke it again, man. Come on. I mean, that was pretty close though, so. Okay, third time's the charm. This one is going to work. We're going to launch from way further away, but it should give us a better angle. So there we go. Flying out of the siege cannon. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh, this is looking good. Please. Oh my gosh, we got it. No way. That was actually perfect. And look at this. We still have the effect inside of this area. So if somebody saw this, they'd just walk by and be like, what in the world is going on in this dumpster? But here's what's cool. If we actually stop hiding, we will jump out of it and continue with the effect of the launcher, which is, you know, pretty intriguing. But honestly, that trick shot was probably the coolest part. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to subscribe as well as turn on notifications for more fun videos like this coming up super soon. On top of that, check out some of my previous videos on the screen right now, such as the return of Klombos on the map. But again, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.